Blessed love master, this is Peter Morgan from Morgan Heritage talking to you. And you're locked into Seattle Dancehall TV. Same unity equals prosperity. And that we say, Celestia, bless. Seattle Dancehall TV. Yeah, 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 Keep it yeah. locked. It's the hustle. Roots. Tell me now. Blessed love and greetings. Welcome back to Seattle Dance Hall TV. This is Kelly Guava Jelly on a very special occasion. Big up to Dem Corias, Jesse and Vicky for making it all happen. Northwest Lovers Rock Festival. The front man of the Morgan Heritage family, the royal family of reggae. Peter Morgan. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Good day, I give thanks, you know? up in Brooklyn with the family of five musicians. How did that affect your musical path? Well, I mean, it's, it, the family is more than just five of us. You know, we're from a large family, you know, over 20 of us. But, you know, it's, and growing up was more than just the five members of Morgan Heritage that were musically inclined, you know, and even still are. We have other family members that do music. You know, we had a younger group, LMS, Lazar's doing his solo thing now. And, you know, it, just growing up amongst each other, challenging each other musically, you know, songwriting wise, um, playing instruments and, you know, just um, working out with each other vocally. You know, it was just a great experience and it has made us who we are today. Yeah, 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 we are, we are American born Jamaicans. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so how does being an American reggae artist differ from being a Jamaican artist, do you think? Well, for, for Morgan Heritage, we didn't really, take on to the scene as an American reggae artist because we went to Jamaica and developed our, our talents in reggae music. When we were growing up in America, we were mostly listening to R&B music and hip hop music. So that was our greatest influence growing up in America is when, we father, when our father decided to move back to Jamaica in 95 and we said we were gonna go with him. You know, that's when reggae music really took a hold of us. We did listen to reggae music growing up, but it's when we, the family moved to Jamaica in 95 when reggae music has really became the sound and the, 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 the direction for Morgan Heritage, you know? Who are some other reggae artists that inspire you or other artists in general? Well, our inspiration came first from a lot of American singers. Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, Charlie Wilson from the Gap Band, Bobby Brown, New Addition. This is what we listened to growing up. Guy, you know, bands like that. Um, Jamaica now, one of the first reggae artists that I started listening to and um, patterning the style of singing was uh, Garnet Silk and Luciano. I mean, we listened to Bob Marley growing up in the house because our parents, our parents played the music from Jamaica at that time. You know, Jacob Miller in a circle, Heptones and John Holt, Dennis Brown, all these things. I listened to a lot of Dennis growing up too because, you know, he used to come to the house when we were kids, at, which was a great experience for us. Um, but really is the sounds of Garnet Silk and Luciano and Sizzler that influenced me when it comes to reggae music. Yeah. So embarking on a new chapter in your life yeah. and crossing over into the R&B sector, yeah. what are some of the struggles you have faced in that? Well, I mean, it's not that I was trying to or even trying to push to be a staple known R&B artist. Um, I grew up listening to R&B music. I studied and became a singer because of R&B music. So I just wanted to just do it because we had the free time and we were doing solo projects and you know instead of just doing reggae music, I just wanted to do whatever came to me musically. And I had a lot of friends, a lot of producers that sent me a lot of R&B tracks where even if I don't put them out as a singer, we can shop them to other artists, you know, because I'm also a songwriter, I'm not just a performer. So there's a whole lot of songs that I have that 
you know, I've done with people like Basement Beats out of uh, St. Louis, who's known a lot for their works that they did with, uh, um, what's his artist name, Nelly, and Ludacris and people like that. And, you know, I just, they, they send me tracks and I write some stuff for them and they shop them. You know, some uh, hip hop artists are taking them with the hooks on them or whatever. So it's just a part to just ex express a part of yourself musically. And wherever it goes, it just goes. But at the end of the day, I'm a reggae artist, and that's my root, you know? Can't get away from that. You gotta stay true to the root. Yes, my roots every day, straight. Yes. Do you have a favorite song on the new Morgan Heritage album? Ah. You know, I'm still listening to it every day. It's, it's, it's still fresh to us, because it's the first project that we've done collectively as Morgan Heritage in five years. So everything on it is just like, it's not just a, a breath of it's not just gonna be a breath of fresh air for the fans but it's refreshing for us to get back to like gram say our day job you know what i mean and it's like as much as the fans been missing it we've been missing it as well you know so i'm still into the album there's i, I love the, the opening track on the album which is called man has forgotten you know that song is really it's like the hybrid of morgan heritage because we like to mix roots music with hip-hop you know what i mean and like the last few albums that we put out we started uh well the last album mission and Pros, we started the album with that type of song and we're doing it with this one as well so we, we, it's gonna be a good album <laughs> new album here come the kings go check it out on itunes everyone here come the kings natural is there anyone within the music industry that you would like to collaborate with yeah, there's, there's, there's so much people. I mean, Steve Wonder is one of my greatest influences along with my brother Grams. You know, if there can ever be a time where we collaborate with Steve Wonder, it would be like the greatest thing that can ever happen to us as entertainers, as songwriters, as singers. You know what I mean? Other than that, you know, any one of our colleagues within our genre, it's always a thing that we welcome collaborating with whoever. But one of the things we like to do is collaborate with new talent you know to help expose them you know like i've done with song zuraira love i've done a song with jay bob fiji and i have done a song together i've done a song with y ray out of kenya and you know many other people i've done collaborations with a few artists out of france um uh million styles out of uh, sweden so it's all about working with talent that needs to be exposed we appreciate you bringing new talent to the forefront yeah, man. Yeah, man. definitely i mean it, it, it's it's not always about doing songs with people who are you'd say on the same level of you as you are bigger but when you reach a level in the industry it's good to help new talent get exposed and help them to get to where you are you know what i mean that's that's something that we take pride in as morgan heritage is there one country that you would like to go to you haven't been to yet let me think here. A country we've never been to, um, probably China. Okay. You know, it's, it's it's not to say that you know, it's just the, the history and the culture. Like, I just went to Japan last month, and I've been to Japan three times before that, but it's the first time I got a chance to go to see the temples, you know, and and certain places that is very historical to the Japanese people and it's very historical to the world so i i, I like the the, the the chinese culture and the history of china and it's something that i love to see the great wall of china is one of the greatest um creations that man has made on earth you know what i mean so things like that I, I love to go to places like that to see um historical things because i'm a man of history i love history you know interesting what are some of your other passions um I, I, if I didn't do music, I would have probably been working at NASA in, in, in Florida because I love the study of the stars, astrology, you know what I mean? So that was something that I had in mind as going to school that if I was to fall back on education, I'd go into astr uh, astronomy and become an astrologer. Because I'm, when, I'm, when I'm home or on the road in my room, I like to watch the Discovery Channel and the History Channel a lot and just things that bring your wheel things that you can't imagine that mankind is discovering you know what i mean yeah it's getting deep in here y'all <laughs> <laughs> that's peter for you yeah. the, the greatest thing that's happening right now is morgan heritage doing a new album 
for the fans. We're getting ready to go on tour. We'll be in Europe the whole summer. Um, come back to the US later this year and do a US tour. So it's all about Morgan Heritage giving our fans what they've been missing for the past five years. On Twitter at Peter Music, P E E T A H Music, M U S I C. Um, I'm on Facebook, but I can't remember it. But the one I, I, I know off the top of my head is my Twitter, and then I have my website, I am Peter.com. Yeah. Check it out, everyone. Well, thank you for spreading the love. Indeed, indeed. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, thank you. I'm big of Seattle people, you know. Continue supporting the music. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> Million in your crew, you still lose. Cause Jaja, 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 Jaja,